Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter MCQs. We are doing unit and batch costing chapter. These MCQs are designed to make your concepts stronger as far as MCQs go. We are doing series of MCQs for each and every chapter. Playlist of that is already made on YouTube. Ensure that once you start a chapter, you see the videos of all the MCQs of that chapter. You will be getting a proper reasoning why a particular MCQ is the correct answer. Once all the MCQs of the modules are finished, we are going to be doing our own MCQs also. So therefore, you have a complete bucket of them. Also ensure that you join our Telegram channel for the regular updates and in case you are interested in the regular, all the crash courses, please you all can read the description below. Let's start it off. So job costing is four options applicable to all industries regardless of the products or services provided. Uh, B, technique of costing. Okay. C, suitable where similar products are produced on a mass scale. And D, method of costing which is used for non-standard and non-repetitive products. So out of the four, let's try to study them one by one. So first of all, applicable to all industries, regardless of products or services offered. Just one second. What do you mean by job costing? Job costing is where the customers give a order to a company for manufacturing a certain type of a article or unit, which is completely different. And then the companies manufacture that product based upon that specification. That is how the things work. Okay. That is how the things work. Now, what part A says it's applicable to all industries regardless of products or services offered. No, if it is going to be only one type of article, then they will man, uh, follow something called as unit costing. Uh, if it is say uh, companies which manufacture the product in different stages, then they'll follow process costing. If suppose in this case, uh, there are companies in service sector, they'll follow operating costing. So A cannot be the answer. B technique of costing. Now technique of costing will mean absorption costing, marginal costing or uh, say historical costing. Those are the techniques of costing. In fact, job costing is a method of costing because it is applicable only to those companies which get each and every unit separately done means like you know no two articles are uniform as such okay whereby every order that it gets is different so a cannot be the answer b cannot be the answer c suitable where similar products are produced on a mass scale no that time you will follow something called as unit costing you will not follow something called as a job costing the method of costing used for non-standard and non-repetitive products. Yes, answer over here should be D. That is whatever exactly I was trying to be saying. Suppose there is a carpenter who works in your home. Okay, you tell him to make your furniture. He also works in my home. I tell him to make my furniture. For him, each and every order will be one job. And all these things will be different for each and every customer. So answer should be D over here. That's the correct answer. Thank <laughs> you.